Hey guys, Justin here from Justin Tech, and I got the AMD FX6200 here to review. Um, it's a 3.8 GHz processor, it has a 4.1 GHz turbo. Uh, I actually got this one up to 4.8 GHz, so a full 1, point, uh, 1 GHz overclock, and it was running stable. That's with an H100 cooling, closed loop cooler, which is only about $110, so that's it. It's a great, uh, great performance for a low budget. This is about $150, and uh, it can run pretty much anything you'll need it for. All right, so let's uh, open this up. All right, inside, of course, as usual, you got the money shot right there. And this is your stock cooling. I never suggest using the stock cooling. It's usually good to upgrade. So normally this just stays in the box. You can sell it on eBay, maybe get 10 bucks for it, but that's 10 bucks at most. It's not worth too much. But this is the money right here. So uh, you get the chip. It's packaged nice and neat. Got the uh, AMD FX Unlocked logo on the other side. And, uh, yeah, sorry, it's not a logo, sticker. This is actually a sticker. And uh, for 150 bucks, uh, it did me well. It doesn't benchmark as high as obviously the i7s, and uh, it meets most or almost all the i5s, but uh, only touches the lower end i7s. But according to the price, that's about right. So that's about it for the processor. Um, I can include a link below with some benchmarks and uh, give you an idea of what this thing pulls including my full 1 gigahertz overclock benchmark. I think I got a 3D mark link for that, but I'll show that as well. Uh, that was only with a 560 Ti as well. Alright guys, that's about it. Stay tuned. Uh, check us out on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, and our actual website, jstn.ca. Uh, I'll include a link for everything below, as well as, if possible, some benchmarks. And uh, thanks for watching.